Hello my fellow survivors, I am here today to do a quick review on Daisy. A brief history lesson for those of you who have never heard about Daisy. It actually started out as a mod for another game called Armada. And please forgive my camera, it is currently spazzing because there is no additional light coming in through the window. You see that, that thing, oh, oh, that is messing with my camera effects. So I do apologize. Um, I'm thinking about covering it. Anyway, uh, it started out as a mod for the game Armada, and um, there were actually a lot of mods for Armada. People decided they wanted to play against zombies, they created mods, they did base building, they did all kinds of things. And it was well received so much, and that there were so many glitches because it was a mod and couldn't be fixed as a part of the game Armada, they decided to make the standalone version dubbed Daisy Standalone. And when this game released, there were a lot of problems with it. A lot of problems. And uh, the crack team that decided to split off from Armada and create this was only about four or five strong. So it wasn't a huge group of developers. And once the split off happened and the, the game was created, uh, well, actually, they sold millions of copies. So many copies. And like any great leader, the uh, head developer decided to take a trip to Mount Everest, leaving the world of developing games to the rest of his development team, leaving four people. From what I've seen of the page so far, last I counted, there were four people working on it. Um, but despite their small numbers, they have done grand things with this game. I have died from... Uh, let's see, hunger, I have died from hypothermia, I have died from sickness from eating worms. Yes, I ate worms, it was so gross, but there was nothing else. Um, I have broken my legs, I have uh, been scared half to death, I have died by zombie attack, um, I accidentally injected myself with epinephrine, which was interesting. Uh, there has been a lot of interesting developments on this game, and so far right now, because well, the server that I play in, nobody else is in hardly. I think I have found two people, and it was off in the distance, and we never actually met. So I am playing with my sister right now, and we are currently doing what I would like to say, um, a tourism of day Z. We are going around and taking so many snapshots, and if you would like to see some of those snapshots as they develop, go to my Steam account on more to me for life, and you can see all the screenshots, and I also show the share them to my Twitter account, so you can also look at them there. Um, but, despite all the issues, and there are many issues, there are so many glitches going on right now, people phasing through walls and dying, which was actually something that happened recently, and uh, guns not wanting to shoot whenever you put them on somebody else, faces completely disappearing, uh, basic things that if anybody has uh, played a Bethesda game when they first came out with it, like Fallout 4, those level glitches are still in the game, and the game has been out for three or four years now. So, um, while developers are currently working on the game, as a new release has just come out, they are currently working on the game. I think after the release of the original DayZ, it was like, we did a big push, we got it through, let's celebrate and take a breather. So, um, yes, they are back on it. It is slow going. DayZ is a huge game. And instead of going with the original, uh, I'm trying to remember, instead of using the, uh, I'm trying to remember the term. You know, I'm not, I'm not a programmer. I have no idea what these terms are. But anyway, the basic building blocks of the game, instead of using the one that came with Armada, the way to fix the game was to make their own. And so this has been an ongoing process. Every time a glitch is found, certain things are taken out and certain things are put in. Such as um, in Armada, you can play with uh, vehicles to get you across the map, which is great. Uh, you reassemble them and go. Uh, in Daisy, as it stands right now, there are not a whole lot of cars, which means you backpack all the way across the map. And that in itself is an adventure, let me tell you. It has taken us four days to get from one side of the coast down to the other side of the coast, snapping pictures the whole way and being ridiculous. Uh, but 
On the good side, for those of you who play games that have like uh, running fatigue, they took the fatigue off of the characters until the cars come back in, so they are trying to balance the game. There are a couple of items that are kind of um, superficial in the game that doesn't seem like they should have been important until the basic mechanics of the game were fixed, but hey, when you're trying to work on cars and getting those things running right for a year and still can't figure it out, maybe you just need to take a step away and work on something else that is a little bit easier and a little bit more calming and then go back to it with open eyes. So, as there are only four people currently working on it, I am not going to be too strict on that. And the reason I say this as a, uh, as a YouTuber and as an avid gamer, Daisy is fun. I mean, even with all of the glitches, the getting shut off of a server, the the dying because you face through a wall thing, it's still, it's still fun. So, I did want to let you all know that I will be playing Daisy, and I would like to make it to where if anybody is interested in playing along with us, every single time I get on that game, I would like to do a short YouTube video that will probably be a stock video with uh, maybe the server ID number or something in the comments for people who want to join. And, uh, maybe some semblance of a town on where we're at so you can meet us if you want to. With that having been said, I have also sent out a request on Twitter for anybody who is actually interested in being part of a video. And what I mean is by scripted items. Like, um, I actually want to have a very loose script and us try to work through it. And if the server becomes busy, well that just adds flavor to the script. I don't want it to change and I don't want to do private servers. Even though that would be fun eventually. I have no idea how to do it, but um, that having been said, that would be much later on after I actually figure out the mechanics of the game. But there are many, many ideas bubbling around inside my head, and this daisy is a huge open map full of stuff to do. And uh, I'm trying to think of the best way to put a review. It's just really hard. It was very addicting. It was very irritating, it was very open, very lonely when I first started up, and then it has regularly become more fun. It is more, Daisy is more like your interactions between the other people that are on there rather than it is much an interaction with the environment, especially after you've been playing on it for a while. And I haven't been playing on it for a while, so I am actually a Daisy tourist walking around taking snapshots like I should be holding a camera and asking where the nearest Waffle House is. It is absolutely ridiculous. I, I guess I'm fangirling over the game a little bit. I don't know. It is very Walking Dead feel. Um, for those of you who are fans of The Walking Dead, if you've seen the very first episode where Rick is walking around, he has no idea what's going on, he has no idea that his life is in danger, and there's nobody there. Nothing but these things that are, are crawling around. You don't even know what these things are capable of. It's very much that feeling across an entire map. Um, there is the aspect of needing to eat, needing to drink. So if you're under survival mode, that is definitely it. There are all kinds of weapons. Uh, for anything from a gun to a, a, a meat tenderizer, honestly. I have beaten up zombies with meat tenderizers. Um... So there is that, and there are some servers that still remain very busy. Most of them are private, but there are some public servers that are very, very busy. I choose at this particular moment to stay on a, well, a low populated server because I don't want to die very often. I want to be able to explore. This game has been out long enough that uh, there are a lot of people who have already had a chance to explore the map and experience all of the things. So they're busy sniping each other and, you know, generally being butts. Honestly, I've seen a lot of videos. I've actually been binge-watching a lot of those videos. So, um, it, it is still interesting to watch all of that stuff. But, on whole, I would say Daisy, despite the reviews that are listed, is still well worth a look. Especially if you are, I don't know, maybe a masochist and you want to get infuriated, it would be a great game. As I, I, I guess, a masochist? I don't know. I'm actually just interested in exploring it for right now. It is a very large map. I'm interested in figuring out how all the crafting works and how to make certain things because the crafting is not very evident. It doesn't tell you how to do anything. It is very much a survival game. They throw you down and you just have to figure it out. Um, and 
let's see. Cars will be back. There are a couple of cars on the map that I have run into, but all of them have been stuck in weird places, and I'm not sure if that was intentional or if another person was on the server before us and got it stuck. I had no idea. Uh, let's see. There are animals on the map. There are zombies on the map. There's vast ocean on the map. There's, I don't know, there's even talk of a haunted area called Green Mountain that I'm very, very interested in exploring myself. So there is that. Um, it is just a really weird and strange feeling, especially when my sister logged off and I was on there for a few minutes by myself a couple of times, and I was just walking around and everything was so quiet and so dead, and I had a very walking dead moment there where I was feeling like Rick in that very first episode, wondering what the hell was going on and what on earth I was going to do. I had no idea how to survive. It was, it was, well, it was epic, actually. I enjoyed the hell out of it. It was scary. It was great. Um, so yeah, that's my review. It is very, very glitchy, even now. But um, for those of you who play games on an average basis, if the, if the fandom dies, the game dies. And Daisy is one I would like to see not die off. As long as it has been out, some things have been figured out. Some of the problems have been figured out. There is still a long way to go. And the only way that the developers are going to feel the drive to do that is if people actually get involved. And hopefully at some point, they will allow modders to come in on DayZ. As far as I know right now, they're not allowing modding. But there was talk of allowing it through Steam. So, for those of you who are in the modding situation, if you are curious about this, uh, Daisy might be the one to pick up. There is a uh, a discount on Daisy that I think goes on maybe once a month. So keep your eyes out for that and catch it while it's at a discount. I would definitely recommend that because with all the glitchiness, it is kind of an expensive game. So if you catch it during one of the Steam's little, uh, I don't know, midweek madnesses or something like that, I think it's worth it. And like I said, whenever I get on there and my sister and I get on there, we are going to announce that we're on there at least there goes my phone. At least on Twitter and tell everybody the server that we're on. That way if you want to get on there with us, you are more than welcome to. Just don't come on there and shoot me. I have got this wonderful fireman's coat. It protects me from rain. Oh, speaking of which you can get damp and everything inside your inventory can get damp and becomes near about useless. It was so infuriating finding that out. Um but yeah, there there are so many so many aspects to this. It, it amazes me how intricate Daisy is already. Even though I have seen plenty of videos talking about how bad it is, seen plenty of reviews about how bad it is, um, it is still very intricate, very detailed. If you get down to it, and especially if you don't know how to exploit the Apple glitch, so you can get infinite amounts of food, it is definitely a struggle to live much less uh, a struggle to do anything else. So if you want to be our friends on Steam, look me up. I am more to me for life and I am on Steam. I am on Twitter as more to me for life under I mean, more to me underscore for life. If you have not subscribed, subscribe on Twitter. That way you can get the announcements and also look for us on YouTube making announcements. And I will be doing videos of our uh, tourism of Daisy because it really is a beautiful map. It honestly is. Um, but that is pretty much all the reviews. In, in essence, it is a very glitchy game. It, uh, it needs work. It needs to be, uh, the, the rough edges need to be smoothed out and there's a lot of things to fix. But ultimately, for me, I'd say it's a good buy. Only because this is the kind of thing I'm into, which I'm kind of weird like that. Like, I'm still into RimWorld and it's been out for a long time and people have passed by that ages ago. So maybe it's just the ones that are trying to die out. And I'm like, no, don't let it die. It's like Firefly. Don't let it die. It's great. What is wrong with you people? Anyway, um, that is pretty much all I had to say. Uh, if you are interested in just having the mod and you already have Armada, then maybe check out Daisy's mod. Um, but I would recommend trying out the standalone. Give those people feedback. Um, I have heard a couple of reviews that the people who are currently developing it are not exactly receptive to feedback, and that's disappointing. 
but I think there probably is at least one person on the development team who is listening to the people who are still playing it. So as long as one person is listening, there's always hope for a game. And if you believe in a game, it is so much fun. It really is. It is so terrifying. Um, it is more terrifying than any of the scary games, and I have played a few scary games, including Resident Evil. There's much much more terrifying than seeing a zombie pop out at you. It's being alone and injured and hungry and having no idea what to do and then someone just pops in on you and scares the bejesus out of you. And yeah. Anyway, there are some videos upcoming of some of the shenanigans she and I have gotten up to so far. And some of that's just trying to figure out what the buttons do. That's so ridiculous. Anyway, I am glad you joined me for this review. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and a wonderful... Five o'clock somewhere. Bye-bye.